In computing, the workload is the amount of processing that the computer has been given to do at any given time. It can consist of some amount of application programming running in the computer and usually has some number of users connected to it and interacting with the computer's applications. To decide on whether your company needs the public cloud, carry out a workload assessment. In this blog post, I've identified five categories of workloads that will fit the pay-as-use public cloud model. My first category is known as periodic workloads. For example, a complex data analysis of sales figures that a company needs to run at the end of each month or seasonal marketing campaigns on a company's website. A second category is known as unpredictable growth workloads, such as those resulting from a company's rapid expansion or from short-term increases in sales of trendy products. A third category is known as spiking workloads, such as those experienced by websites that provide new services or by branch offices that perform end-of-day reporting for a main office. There are other workloads that require high availability and multi-region resiliency, such as commercial online stores. These are characteristics provided by a public cloud. Finally, we have what is known as steady workload scenarios where the operational cost of running the application in the cloud is much lower than the combination of on-premises capital expenditures and maintenance overhead. Now, on the other hand, some workloads might not be suitable for the public cloud. One example is low volume or limited growth workloads that can be run on your premises on general hardware. Other scenarios might require a highly regulated environment. For example, where a local government restricts the type of data that companies can host in the public cloud. Another example is what is described as static workloads. These are resources with an equal utilization over time. An application experiencing static workload is less likely to benefit from an elastic cloud that offers a pay-per-use billing because the number of required resources is constant. So, in this short blog post, we have looked at workloads suitable for the public cloud. For example, periodic workloads, unpredictable growth workloads, spiking workloads, workloads requiring high availability and multi-region resiliency, and those known as steady workloads. We've also looked at three workloads which are not suitable for the public cloud but can be run on your private cloud. For example, low volume or limited growth workloads, highly regulated workloads, and static workloads.